Hello there, Internet. How's it going? Welcome to another wonderful little loot crate opening. This time we've got our loot anime. This is loot anime for January. Nice big crate. Big, big crate. Big crate and heavy. This actually feels very, very comforting. Comforting, heavy crate. Let's see what's inside of it. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. T-shirt at the top, as always. We're going to switch to the wide to show off the T-shirt. Hello there, Internet. It's nice to see you again. Have you been keeping track of me? Have you been watching every single one of the videos? You should see a lot more in this channel. You should be paying attention to every single thing you can see. So what have we got here? Hmm. What is this? Like it. Dark grey t-shirt. It's a new colour. Uh, Rocka Braves of the Six Flowers. This is a show I haven't watched yet. Okay, so you do realise that no matter what, any time I actually get shirts like this, I'm going to end up watching the show. And I probably will have a bit of an opinion about it. But um, I kind of like the designs on it. It's just a bit of text with, uh, oh, headshots of all the main cast. Huh. One of the questions I always have whenever I look at anime sometimes is, really, guy or girl? Guy or girl? Hard to tell. A drugsy. Quite a lot of it. But yeah, this is actually a nice t-shirt. Okay. Um, I think I may have actually kind of, well, actually the extra large sizes from the States are pretty damn big. I mean, I, <laughs> I know a few people could wear this as a dress, but yeah. Don't mind the design, simple enough. Uh, the print quality is as good as it usually is. I uh, would trust it for a couple of washes. Um, I like the material. I like the design on the top of this material. It's actually a really, really nice kind of feel to it. A uh, bit thin, but yeah, come on, we're getting into the summer months. It's kind of worth it. But I'm glad that it isn't just another black t-shirt. Another black t-shirt with another design. I mean, how many of these do I have already? And how many do I really need? Okay, Rocka, three of the six flowers. I get behind that. Give that a try. Cool. That's another one for my wardrobe. I really need to start throwing out old t-shirts considering how many I'm getting now from Loot Crate. And they're all fantastic. Like, let's see what else is inside this. Okay, what do we got here? What is this? Okay. Loot Crate exclusive. From Fairy Tale. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I know what this is. Well, I, I think I know the show. I'm not a big fan. I'm not... Been, haven't been watching Fairy Tale. There's a few people out there that I know that watch these videos that are huge Fairy, Fairy Tale fans. Guys, I'll see you at the next con because these were awesome whenever we were dressed up in cosplay. That was a really fun day to actually do the video with the Fairy Tale cosplayers. Oh man, this is actually a really nice scarf. Cool. That's, admittedly, it's probably the wrong time of year for a big hefty scarf. Oi me! <laughs> it just kind of makes me think of a, a rabbi scarf. But uh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Really, really nice tassels in the end of it. I don't know the name of the character from Fairy Tale that actually wears something like this, but I know it's familiar. Is it the main character? Is it the main red-haired guy that actually wears a scarf like this? I'm not too sure, but I think I pull it off quite well. Do I not? <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm actually on board with that. That's actually a really nice scarf. It's a bit gothic looking. I mean, anybody who's actually a um, Night Before Christmas fan or uh, of its ilk, anything kind of in the gothic stuff, uh, it, it looks very, very spider webby. Actually, the design of it. I would have thought that it was actually something else, but hey, it's an anime crate. Of course, it's going to be something anime related. So, what do we got back in here? Into the box we go. Okay, what's this? Hmm. Right. This is a piece of uh, art card. I like the design and I like the artwork. I don't know what it is, though. It's a bit odd. Nothing to symbolize it, none to tell me what it is. But uh, whoever the artist is, I like it. It's kind of nice. Art cards. Pretty cool. I don't know if I, I don't think I should actually take this out of it. I think it's actually designed to be on this cardboard, mounted on this, and uh, taking the plastic off would start to damage it. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to look at. Um, might be one of those things that pop up on the shelf. Not too sure. Probably, maybe. Let's see if we can get a proper look of it there. Whoop! Can you see? Can you see? You can see. I'm sure you can see. Right, back into the crate. Candy! Wow. Compito. Sugar candy. So these are like just little sugar balls. Okay. Hey, I can get behind this. I mean, any, <laughs> to be honest, should I give? The, should I open these up and give them a try? I'm not too sure. Should I? All right. Oh, there's a zipper so I can... Oh, cool. There's a zipper on the packet so I can reseal them afterwards. I was worried about actually opening this and not actually eating them all and then not having them available for me to munch on later on. I'm going to have a taste of these sugar candies. Let's see what they're like. Um, I'm, I'm behind the Loot Crate anime, having snacks inside them from Japan. Japanese snacks in a Loot, loot Anime Crate. It's a great idea. I think it's what if they can get stuff that's actually reasonably um, odd, I'd be more behind it than actually uh, if they are getting like really regular stuff. This looks pretty simple, just sugar candy. 
It looks like, um, <laughs> oh, I need to check the details of the back right here. Sugar candy, ingredients, sugar, coloring. Number five, number six, <laughs> FD&C Blue number one, <laughs> the product of Japan. It's just sugar and color. Oh, man. All right, serving size, 25 pieces. Servings per container, about 4.5. Uh, well, they're, they, to be honest, 60, 60 calories per serving. Let's see, let's get one full serving in this. Um, yeah, they're all, I, these are, I just think these are actually just like sugar bowls, so no, no real kind of difference to them. Is there any design to them, or are they just literally little rock, rock candies? They're just little sugar rocks, so bottoms up. No, I didn't think this through. That's a big problem. I'm gonna have these in my mouth for the rest of this video. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. They're alright. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That was really, really polite of me, wasn't it? Nothing wrong with them, they're literally just rock candy. Rock candy with sugar, no mad flavor to them. I'm sure I'm gonna be high to the fucking moon on the small dotage of uh, chemical flavorings that went into that. Um, yeah. Compito. They taste good. Okay, let's see what else is inside our crate of this month. Okay, what is this? Our badge? Well, at least it's not a loot anime badge, it's not specific. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? This is an amazing show, I love this show, it's really, really fun. If you haven't checked it out yet, you should really check out it. Uh, check it out on Crunchyroll. Um, in fact, if you get in touch with me and throw a little comment underneath the video, I will be giving out uh, some guest passes for 48 hours access to Crunchyroll because they, they give me ones all the time and um, I like to give them out to people because these are the kind of shows you can check out on it. It's really, really cool. I actually enjoy the hell out of it. It's um, cheesy and um, fan servicey as all hell, but it's uh, pretty funny along the way. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's called, Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Because, I don't know, I mean, a lot of people do it in MMOs, but <laughs> imagine in a world where it's not an MMO, it's just people actually going on quests. <laughs> right, what have we got next? Ah, Kingdom Hearts. Pewter Keering. So it's a Keyblade King... Uh, oh yeah, so it's a Keyblade Keychain. That's okay. Cool. And these are the kind of things I would have bought back in the day whenever I was um, shopping a lot online. I would have actually purposefully kind of bought um, the key fobs and keychains and even like the rings from Final Fantasy VIII and in pewter and just kind of li like to wear them and have them around me because they're like a bit of thing that I can enjoy for my fandom. I actually currently have uh, something from the Cyber Crate hanging on my keychain uh, and I might actually add this. So by the time the end of this year is finished, I'm going to have this massive ball of just kind of random fan stuff just hanging from my keychain or it's probably going to break off because the chains are never really that strong to be honest. But that's kind of cool. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, there's, Kingdom Hearts 3 is being announced and it's actually on its way to us now. I still haven't finished um, my copy of 2.5 on the PS3, which is something that I might actually sit down and do. If you guys are interested in seeing a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2.5, I have them sitting on my list of games to play, but, you know, RPGs, they just take so much time, and I've already completed them back in the day whenever they originally came out, so maybe it's one of those ones that if you're interested and you want to get my opinion on the animation style and the actual characters and the linkages that it all has together and maybe a couple of predictions about what Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be, give me a shout in the comments see if you actually want to see the videos because I'd be up for it. Okay, so Kingdom Hearts, that's done dusted. What have we got left? Okay. Ooh. Oh, my stomach's actually like feeling a little bit iffy now after those uh, candies. Oof. Okay, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have spat them out. Should have swallowed them and see that they, they, they're revolting against me because of what I've done. So yeah, this is uh, the end of the crate. There's not much else in here. This is your usual uh, loot anime has instead of the booklet. They actually do this poster style thing instead. So let me get a wee chance to fold it out here. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Posters for all the anime fans. Um, literally gonna enjoy putting up these posters in the future for backgrounds of shots whenever I'm actually using this room in other ways because you can see that the the blue background and these particular wall hangs have been around for a while I might change them fairly soon but as it is I kind of like the ones that I have up about another dozen or so but um trying to think about framing some of these posters and just kind of having them set up as well because I like the designs I like the whoever they have as an artist coming in to do it it kind of reminds me a lot of uh, no game no life 
this uh, the kind of even the color scheme of this one. So um, yeah, it's called Equip. That was the name of the crate for this month, right? So Equip, gotta Equip up. Oh yes, of course. What am I doing? And all the things that were actually meant to be in the crate. Yeah, nothing was missing in my crate. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Keyblade Ring, Madoka art print. Oh, that's what it is, Madoka. Ah, okay. Uh, da -da -da. Madoka magic. And so it's actually done by the same, the same artist that does the posters, I think, from uh, Loot Anime. So they probably put uh, art prints to kind of have encour encouraging more work by the artist because not everybody's going to put up the poster, but everybody might have pulled onto the wee card. But um, yeah, t-shirt, sweeties. Oh, be careful. You could actually easily tear this poster because uh, uh, I've been folded that many times or folded up that tight. Uh, equip crate. It's not been a massively kind of... Um, Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Sorry. My apologies. There is one more thing in here. Is there one more thing? Did I drop something out of the crate? I heard someone drop there. Huh. Alright, cool. So there's a little kind of key. There's another little object that was inside the crate that I didn't see. It's going to be hard to actually tell on the camera what it is. But it's one of those, uh, the same as they did with the original uh, Loot Anime crate, the first one that they did. They have a little phone charm. This time, instead of it actually having like the, um, be a clip-on one, like that goes through a wee loop in the corner, it actually has a little point that goes into your like, uh, headphone jack on the top of your phone, which is a smart move. Um, I, com I commented to the, um, customer support whenever I got the last one, that not everybody has that little, uh, charm loop on their phones. Most modern phones don't have that little space to slide a thread through. So, yeah, this kind of covers for the distance of it, it actually like, can hang out the back of it. It's got the, um, it's like, almost like a cloud card design on the actual front of the uh, front of the actual charm. I think you can see it in the actual long shot now. The cloud cards are from like Card Capture Sakura, and I think they actually use it in the um, poster design that came with this and the equip. So it's a nice wee way to remind everybody that you enjoy the crate. Nice little touch. I, I like these little bits and pieces. They're a good choice. So, all right, onto the crate. My opinions on this month's crate are that they've kind of they, they've gone a bit out of the way for actually nice nice big objects on this one. Which is uh, something that I would normally complain about in uh, the uh, other crates that uh, one large item can actually like fill up the box and then they don't really try with the rest of it. But um, the little objects that they had in this one along with this scarf, this is a fantastic scarf. This is the kind of thing that they would have in the level up crates, I'm sure, or in the level up um, accessories bundle. And um, it's nice to see objects that size inside the loot crates. The uh, loot anime is only a couple of months old now, so they've got a lot to uh, live up to with the history of the ordinary loot crate. And they've done reasonably well so far. I mean, they haven't actually made a mistake. What the hell? Is that meant to go that way around? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the loot crate actually, the, this one's actually got a little bit of an awkward kind of like shape to it because it doesn't look like that's meant to fold back too far. Um, yeah, the uh, loot anime crates have only been around for a very short period of time. They're announcing the third one now. This is the second crate. And they had a lot of issues getting this crate out the door. Uh, due to um, having issues with some one of the one or two of the items that they originally were going to have in it, and it's, it's bad. It's sad that they actually had issues, but um, you know that's the nature of what they're doing. And it's not only one of the ones starting off. I'm gonna bet they had a lot more of that happen whenever they started off the uh, loot crates originally, where they were having objects dropping on them at the last minute, and they weren't able to continue on. So yeah, this is actually a bit of a standy kind of one, rather than actually being a one that you're meant to fold up. I think you're meant to actually have it sitting so that you kind of can see, whoa, <laughs> all these bits and pieces along the side all at one time. But um, I'm just gonna fold it back up into its box. Uh, unlike the loot, uh, loot crate of this month, it's not designed to be constantly folded up. But um, yeah, I like the design of it. This has been a loot anime. Loot anime, good kind of deal. Uh, if you want to check out loot anime uh, for a reduced price, you can make sure to use the code underneath the video in the comments section. Uh, or on the details of the video because you'll get 10% off using the, the code and you'll help me support me in making these videos and all the other videos on the channel and uh, It'd be really nice of you. I'd be I really appreciate it. It would be nice. Thank you very much So that's the loot anime crate for January. This has been the equip crate. Uh, all these bits and pieces have all been cool Ooh, Look at the gifts. Look at the toys. In fact Is it what well, I can't remember is it actually pointing with one finger? I can't remember what the pose is for a uh, fairy tale because I don't watch the show um, oh, that's it. I, the, I can remember. I've seen enough people posing with it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Loot Anime for January. It's the Equip Crate. Check out the other videos on the channel. Check out all the videos that will be coming out in, later on this week. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye